Real excitement and anticipation here. A cup final about to be decided. Who will hold the trophy aloft? It's Inter. They take on Milan next on EA TV. Well, no doubt about it, the nerves have been jangling in the last few days, but very soon the wait will be over. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Stuart Robson in the commentary box, and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a thrilling finale. It's Inter, and they take on Milan. Well, Derek, what a game this should be. Both teams have done really well to get this far, but who will be lifting the cup at the end of the game? I'm sure it'll be a classic, though. lineup is as follows. Milan Skriniar plays alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Henrik Mkhitaryan starts alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Edin Dzeko. This is the Milan starting 11. The goalkeeper is Ciprian Tatarushanu. Sandro Tonali plays alongside Ismael Benasser in central midfield. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. A game that should have talking points aplenty and Inter with the kickoff here. Di Marco, Mikitarian. And now De Frey. Barella. Barella. No problems for the keeper. Dzeko, just the challenge that was required. Well, you know, as good as his goal-scoring record is, I think many still underestimate Edin Dzeko, Stewart. But what do you expect from him in this match? Well, at the moment, he's playing with great confidence. Every time he gets to the ball, he looks like scoring. Three goals in the last three games, and I'm expecting a similar performance again today. Determined defending. Real chance. Oh, there is the goal that gives Inter the lead in the final. Exactly what they were hoping for. Well, here's the replay. What a great pass this is from Barella. And what a clinical finish this is from Lataro. He hits it with such power. That's a good goal. back underway and here's the question can Milan articulate the right reply and the pass was off target it'll be a throw Chalanolu Varela or can they exploit the space out wide Dzeko Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Brahim.
Milan recovering possession well. Junior Messias. And Milan moving the ball with purpose. But quick thinking defensively. Barella. Dzeko. On to Mkhitaryan. And that's sound goalkeeping. Can someone get on the end of this? Rafael Leao. Diaz. Well, technically offside, but not by a lot. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Junior Messias. Giroud. And he might be through here. And the keeper has denied him. Well, I've got to say, Derek, he was always in control of that situation. Brilliant stuff. He's driven in the corner. And no worries for the goalkeeper. Barella. And Inter might be able to cash in here. That's not a bad ball. Well, nothing untoward happened. Benassa. Junior Messias. And that's a well-timed pass. Such an important goalkeeping intervention under pressure. Barella. Now Dzeko. Vigitarian. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Junior Messias. And the ball's gone. Giroud. Firing it in. Easy save. And giving the ball to the opposition that time. It's a promising Milan move. Leal. Running with the ball confidently. A well, disappointing end to the move. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And a fine stop. Federico Di Marco. It's with Chalhanolu. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Barella being egged on by the crowd. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. Trying to deliver it accurately. Not the best clearance. 
Mkhitaryan superbly read and executed Dzeko can he finish? oh magnificent reaction Trying to pick out a teammate. Oh, off the line. High class defending right on the goal line. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Prison match. Prison match selected. Well, they get the ball rolling again. Not enough went to plan for Milan in the first half. Can they address that in the second 45? Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Well, no stopping him. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. He has teammates around him. Benasser. On to Giroud. Could be. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Well, the only way to say it is he got it all horribly wrong, Stuart. Well, he has to make the keeper work harder than that. That's a tame finish. Jeco. Barella has it. Martinez. Martinez! And putting his body on the line. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Teo Hernandez. And that'll be a Milan ball. Benassa. Giroud straight forward for the keeper De Frey Dzeko Barella defensive Brazilians to shut them down Brahim Giroud Can they hit on the break? They need to get bodies back. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. And into the last 30 minutes now. Charanolu. Did well to win the ball back. Giroud trying to really get at the opposition here well they get themselves level here well not too far away at all but getting underneath it ever so slightly and they will make the change now And that was a very fine read. Now well, racing past his man. Barella. Untidy in possession. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Alessandro Bastoni. The ball with Martinez. 
And with that, the attack fizzles out. Over the touchline for what will be an inter throw. Well, they've decided to make a change. Gozens. Well read to put an end to that attack. Martinez. Real chance. And there it is. A two-goal cushion now. And just look at these fans. The trophy coming their way, surely. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. the last 15 minutes of action and a good looking pass well that is how to nullify the opposition and as the second half draws to a close I think we've got to give high marks to Inter for this performance well I think the scoreline reflects the difference between the two teams for most of the game they've dictated the play and they've created some really good chances I think it's been an excellent performance it did look on for them, but not to be. Barella. Now Giroud. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. In position now. And the keeper throws himself at the ball. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Over it comes, and nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Not problematic for the keeper. Gorzans, Martinez, Barella has it, crucial interception amid impending danger, Bobega, Benassa, Tonali with it, Rebic, oh could be! Quite simply, an opportunity wasted. Easy for the keeper. And you don't want to lose possession there. The save was a good one. And over comes the corner. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Great pressure to win the ball back. Happy to take on the shot. And simple for the keeper. Running with the ball confidently. And there's the feed into the box. A deft clearance. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity.
Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Full marks to the entire team. And now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.